Hello everyone, uh, this is Mtobi Simshongo, your mathematics and physical science tutor and today we are looking at the grade 10 physical science paper 1 in June 2024 in the Mpumalanga question paper and our main focus today is question 7 as per your request that I must do um, electric circuits now we have a following electric circuit and the circuit below has three resistors and there you can see the three resistors uh, with each of them having two four ohms and eight ohms well it's not necessarily three resistors it's four resistors because it's the two ohm the four ohm and the four ohm and the eight ohm so maybe that statement would have been phrased perfectly if they would have said that and um, each cell in the emf now we have to look at this um, if you see this notation of a cell is something like this and that you know is a cell and that's one cell um, with its positive and its negative terminals so we see here that we are having um quite about one two and three cells so that's something to note for the question and each cell has an emf of six volts and then the total current in the circuit is five amperes now the first question asks um the first question is asking um, to define the term potential difference. Now, defining potential difference, that's 7.1. 7 7 define the term potential difference. I'll have to write it down first, then I explain. Potential difference. Potential difference can be defined as um, energy transferred energy transferred per unit electric charge per unit electric charge. electric charge that is flowing through it that's the exam guideline um, type of explanation of the potential difference but this is not a full explanation. The full explanations would say the potential difference across, I'll just call potential difference PD. So the potential difference across the ends of a conductor, across the ends of a conductor, can be defined as the energy transferred. Now the energy transferred transferred per unit electric charge flowing through it unit electric charge through it well in symbols this would be potential difference as a symbol V it's not called PD so some textbook would tell you that it's V but then V is the correct so V is equals to the energy, energy, which is work 
per when they say per it means divided by that unit electric charge which means that one charge so this is how you define potential difference in terms of its symbols then we move to 7.1.2 or 7.2.1 let's check the question 7.2.1 says write down the current in the 8 ohm resistor now what information are we given here this 8 ohm resistor is this one that is parallel here this is the 8 ohm resistor that is at the parallel and nothing much has been said about it but it is parallel to the other 4 ohm and 4 ohm and this 4 ohm here contains 2 amperes and then this um this then it's this two ohm resistor also getting five amperes so now this means the current will have to be distributed in here in here and in here and in here and all of that current will have to sum up to a total of the five amperes that passes through because in a series circuit current is the same but in a parallel circuit current is being distributed according to where the cord or, or, or I'd say conductor flows through now the next thing here to note is that Quite a number of options that you can use well one that i noted was that we are having um which is more advanced for a grade 10 learner but they said we have six volts and there were three cells that i saw there and this means this is 18 volts right the question is asking us about the current yes but we need to know the voltage so now this means there was a 10 volt that was used up 10 volt was used up by the 2 ohm resistor meaning from the 18 and subtract 10 we get our uh, 8 volt which goes through the parallel resistors and we know current in the parallel resistors is the same therefore the 8 ohm and the 8 ohm resistor has voltage of 8. Then we go to our V is equal to IR to calculate the current, and I is equal to the V over R. We get that this is 8 over 8, which is 1 ampere. A second method if we go back to this diagram here, we see that this is a 4 ohm resistor and this 4 ohm resistor has what current of 2 amperes now we know that the one we're looking for is the 8 ohm so i at the 8 ohm is equals to half of what is being uh, transferred well current half of the current that that passes through out of the 4 ohm because if you take 4 and 8 that's a double but then 8 to 4 that's half of it so half of the 2 amperes that passes 3 which will also give you 1 amperes that's another option then another option would be to say the total current which you saw or you see in the diagram is 5 amperes is given by the current at um because current is being distributed differently in parallel current at the four ohm which you know and also at the four ohm and current at the eight ohm we know this one is five which is equals to a two plus a two plus the i at the eight ohm now this gives us something like I at the 8 ohm will be equal to 5 minus 4, which is equal to 1 amperes. 
And then now we can move to the next question, which is 7.2.2. And in 7.2.2, they say we write down the number of cells in the circuits. Now, I've shown in this diagram this, that there's one, two, three cells. Now, already you just have to state that there are three cells in 7.2.2. There are what? Three cells. As you can see, it's one cell, two, and then the third one. Then in 7.2.3, calculate the EMF. So EMF is equals to, because they said each cell, each cell has an EMF of 6 volts. So three of them are going to have what? 6 volts times 3, which is equals to 18 volts. Now, we moved to 7.3.1 calculating the effective resistance of the parallel connection we do that by saying 1 over r parallel is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 now 1 over r parallel will be equal to 1 over the first one is a 4 and the second resistor is a 4 and the third one is a 8. Now, to make things more simple and let, we don't let this to be look looking like um, a math equation, then let's just simply punch in the calculator that 1 over R parallel will be equal to a 5 over 8. At this point, you can simply cross multiply to get 5. R parallel is equal to an 8. Then you divide by 5 both sides. And then R parallel will be equal to 8 over 5, which is equal to 1.6 ohms. Now, in 7.3.2, Go back to 7.3.2. The total resistance of the circuit. Now we see here that we have a 2 ohm and then the combination of the R parallel, which we just calculated. Now, for us to get the total resistance, or we call it R external, so that's 7. 3.2 R total will be equal to the 2 ohm resistor plus that R parallel combination or effective R parallel which is 1.6 ohm then you get 3.6 ohms next question 7.3.3 as we are about to finish the potential difference across the parallel connection now potential difference in a parallel connection is the same for all the for all the resistors now we have total voltage from what we had said that the v total is equal to six times three then we got 18 volts but then if you can look now here at the two ohm resistor the voltmeter reads 10 volts, which means now the 10 volts plus the voltage that goes to the parallel connection. So basically we have that V total is equal to V at the 10 volts plus V at the parallel connection. So V at the parallel connection is equal to V total minus V of the 10 volts, which is basically 18 minus 10, which is equal to 8 volts and that will be the um, potential difference across the parallel connection then last question says that we need to calculate the energy dissipated by the 2 ohm resistor in 3 minutes the 2 ohm resistor now you can go back to the 2 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor has a voltage here and then also a current in there well there are many ways in which you can calculate the energy you know that energy is given by the work done so it's a 
four would be calculate with first um, the current which is given by voltage over resistance because we know the voltage is 10 over 2 ohm and that gives us 5 amperes but also we know that current passing throughout the series is the same so that 5 amperes that we saw would have been vital then we now go to our i is equals to q over t equation then we simplify to say let's calculate the charge which is q is equal to i t now someone would ask me why are you calculating charge because the only formulas given is v is equal to work done over charge we're looking for the energy we have the voltage and then now we're looking for the charge and then charge can be calculated by this to say this is five times three times 60 which gives us 900 coulombs and then now we can move into using v is equal to w over q so v is equal to w over q whereby we're looking for w says that this is v um, v times the q and the voltage we have is 10 times 900 that will be 9000 joules 9000 joules then let's look at another method to calculate this it would be to simply say we know that the uh, work done or energy is given by the voltage times the current times the time of which this is still what q so we simply go and say 10 volts times um our current which is passing there as we know it it is 10 amperes No, the current is 5 amperes, not 10. It's the voltage that is 10. So here, sorry for that mistake, I'm going to make 5. And then the time it took will be a 6 times, I mean, no, 60 times 30, I mean, <laughs> 60 seconds times 3 um, cells, which will now give us a total of 9,000 joules. So... You may have used different formulas or that you have been taught, but um, thank you for watching our video and continue subscribing and stay tuned for more that we're going to post. And I'm going to do the grade 11 um, electric circuits video very soon. Thank you.